Now, we couldn't really figure out what was in this room, but there should be an exit connected to the room. Once you go through the exit, we may have final fight. Uh, hello? 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 
Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk toward sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd-pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks.
Hello there. In today's lesson, we'll be going over Springlock suit cleaning. Part of Fazbear Entertainment's motto is being clean with a bit of sheen. They really need to work on that one. But you know, safety and cleanliness comes first. So, first of all, make sure that you have correctly separated the suit parts, as shown in the diagram on page 124 of the employee manual. Make sure that you also have the parts laid out on a table. We should be able to easily clean the parts. Cleaning the parts is a simple task, really. Just start out by getting a can of our recently manufactured fat spray, which can slowly soak and sparkle the suit over the time span of about 6 hours, just in time for the next morning. So go ahead and start spraying the suit, making sure that no electronics were left inside of the suit after removal. Good job, rookie. In the next tape, we will be covering how to safely exit the suit. Oh, and remember to smile, you're the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And the beat drops out yeah.